What is going on you guys, this is TechHD coming at you with a brand new video and today we're going to be taking a look at one of BenQ's 4K gaming projectors. This one right here is the TK700 and we have it all set up and I've been using it for a few weeks now and I'm excited to show you guys what I overall think about it. So let's get started. So now taking a look at what you get with the TK700, we got the quick start guide, the remote, the US power cord, the UK power cord, some AAA batteries for the remote and the projector itself. On the top we have the focus and zoom knobs and on the bottom right we have the controls for the power button, the 5 key navigator, the input button, the back menu and mode buttons, and the eco blank buttons. Taking a look at the IO ports we have two HDMI 2.0 ports and the second HDMI port supports ARC. Underneath that we have the power port and also have the RS-232 port, the audio out port and the USB port. We also have a compartment that has a third HDMI port and a micro USB cable for the BenQ QS01 Android TV dongle to make it project it into a smart projector, but that is sold separately. Taking a look at the remote, we have the similar buttons that we get on the projector like the on and off button, input button, and the 5 key navigator. But we also have our volume controls and the media buttons like the play, pause, stop, fast forward, and rewind. Setting up the TK700 projector is easy, I have mine mounted onto the ceiling so it is possible to have it mounted and you can just flip the screen in the settings and I mess with the zoom and focus and the 2D keystone to have everything aligned to my screen and it overall looks great. I also have my Amazon Fire TV connected to the projector so that I can watch shows and movies and since they both support 4K, everything looks nice and detailed. Now taking a look at the specs of the TK700, it offers up to 4K 60Hz at 16.67 milliseconds with fast mode enabled. You can also do 1080p 120Hz at 8.33 milliseconds and 240Hz at 4 milliseconds in response time. The TK700 has a lamp light source and has a brightness of 3200 ANZ lumens and has a color accuracy of 96% in Rec 709. It supports HDR10 and HLG and is going for $14.99 US. Now in my testings, I set up the Xbox Series X and PS5 to play all types of games. You can see in the Xbox settings, I'm able to play 4K at 60fps and 1080p at 100fps. I could technically play at 1440p, but I would need to mess with some settings in order for me to select 1440p, but for some reason I can't enable 120fps. I could only play at 60. The Xbox states that the projector is not compatible with it, and I don't see it listed anywhere on BenQ's website about the TK700 being compatible with 1440p. But it does take HDMI 2.0 so it should be compatible with 1440p at 144Hz technically. So I would love for future model projectors to be compatible with 1440p at 120Hz. I'm seeing a lot more people play at that resolution and so it would be good for them to provide it. But you can also see in the settings that the console is compatible with everything minus Dolby Vision which is great to see on a projector. The TK700 is advertised more as an FPS projector so I played some games like Call of Duty, Halo and Apex in 4K and the response time is very doable and I honestly prefer them more on the projector compared to my 4K TV. At first I felt skeptical of the 60 millisecond response time but after trying it out I was easily able to adjust and still react quickly in fast paced games and managed to kill my enemies. The reaction time like I said going from my controller to show on the screen was fast. The colors also looks great on a 100 inch screen and everything is definitely sharp and you could tell the difference going from a 1080p projector to a 4k projector. Speaking of 1080p, I downscaled to that resolution to try out that 120Hz refresh rate and it did seem smoother and more responsive but lacked the detail and I was able to easily notice the image not being as sharp obviously. Here is a side by side comparison of 4k versus 1080p and you could definitely tell the difference in quality and I personally don't mind the higher response time in 4k and I would prefer going with a higher resolution but at least you'll have the option to go down to 1080p 120Hz if you want to be more responsive. The HDR looks great as well when it comes to the dark and bright areas. I played some dark campaign scenes and the contrast and black levels look great for a projector and even with some lights on around the projector. It was still somewhat visible but just in case you can enable the detail adjustment feature in the settings to increase the contrast to make it much more visible. Now the settings that I usually go with the projectors are in the settings of the TK700. I have my picture mode set to game or HDR game. I have my fast mode enabled to give me the lowest input lag. Now keep in mind, enabling the fast mode will disable the 2D keystone, so only enable the 2D keystone if you really need it. But if you want the best performance, have that fast mode on. I also usually have my detail adjustment set to off since in my opinion, it brightens up the contrast a lot and doesn't look so good. I only enable that when I have the lights on like I mentioned earlier. After that you are all set. There are certain games that show a bit too much sharpening and colors so I bring the sharpness down to about a 5 and I also bring the brilliant colors down to about a 7 and that makes everything seem better in my opinion. 
I also played some RPG games like Dying Light 2 and Elden Ring and it looks amazing on this projector. The same thing goes with the colors and contrast and paired with the 4K HDR, it looks crisp and beautiful. Now lastly, I connected my Fire TV to the projector since it doesn't have a streaming software built into the projector and I watched some movies and TV shows and the same thing goes. Everything looks great with the colors and contrast and I set my picture mode to cinema and I hooked up my Sony soundbar and subwoofer to the HDMI arc port and that gave me that home theater cinema setup. So I overall love the TK700 projector. It performs great with gaming when it comes to the response time, resolution, colors, and contrast. You were able to easily play FPS games and not be affected by the input lag and see all the detail that the game has to offer. Not only is this projector great for gaming, but also watching movies and shows looks amazing when you are connecting a streaming device to it. The brightness is great in dark environments of course, I definitely recommend some blackout curtains but it's still a bit visible in bright times like having the windows open and the lights on but it definitely looks more washed out. Setting the projector to bright mode and having the Lumi Expert enabled helps but I would still recommend this mainly as a projector in the dark lit room. Now the major things that I would like to point out and see in possible future models are including 1440p 120Hz support along with some variable refresh rate support to pair more with the Xbox Series X and the PS5. I would also like for the TK700 to have an optical port so I could play both of my HDMI connected devices through my soundbar. It does support HDMI arc and I know that's better than optical but for some reason I'm only able to play audio through the second HDMI port so if I have my Xbox connected to the HDMI one and my PS5 connected to the HDMI 2, I will only be able to hear the audio through my soundbar on my PlayStation and not the Xbox unless I physically swap out the HDMI cables on the consoles which can get annoying. The built-in speaker on the projector is doable but definitely lacks the bass and presence since it's just a one speaker on the side. Lastly, I would love to see a gaming projector that supports 4K 120Hz with HDMI 2.1 ports to support the Xbox Series X and PS5 and I know we're not there yet but I just want to bring it up and dream a little bit. Other than that, I've been very happy playing on the TK700. It has been a lot of fun and it's definitely worth it. So there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys do have any questions or concerns, please let me know down in the comments and everything will be linked down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you guys can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Follow me on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitch. As always, TechHD. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!